we have four of swords, three of pentacles, and five of swords. Hmm. So I think four of swords this always talks about taking a rest. Um taking time off it's nothing bad it's just literally needing uh, maybe gathering your thoughts about something before you take an action because i think for some of you might be juggling tricky situation and you need to put your thoughts together you don't want to make any harsh decisions and five or so or something might talk about self-interest so you're looking up for your best interest when to invest yourself what kind of partnership you're seeking in love or in life work okay we have five of cups we have nine of cups and we have two of pentacles. So definitely do feel some of you might be juggling some kind of situation or people around you. Maybe you're scared to uh, commit to one person. Maybe you're scared to give someone a chance because you've been hurt in the past. But... <sighs> You know, how you're going to have your dream come true if you want to take a, some kind of risk, give them, give someone a chance. Maybe you don't know which one to give a chance. Maybe you have two job offers. Maybe you have two projects to consider. Maybe you have two people in life and not sure which one to give a chance. So that's why you're taking time off and trying, you know, to see what's best for you. You're not rushing, but what I don't like... Is five of cups card which one is talks about you know um, you know feeling like not having trust in someone not willing to trust someone give them someone a chance I don't know you know you have already two five so uh, I think the spirit calls you some kind of take a action, you know, rather than um, floating, you know, and just just do something. I'm just calling you to do something. Make a choice. Make a move. We have magician. We have seven of cups and we have four of pentacles. So you definitely, I feel you feeling very reserved and you're not rushing into anything because a lot of pentacles now coming through and pentacles is energy, earth energy. So it's very, very slow energy. It just, it feels like you want to know everything before you make your decision, you want to know, uh, go to all the, let's say, job interviews before you make up the decision. Even the offer is in front of you sounds amazingly. It's a good trade, yes, but I think you just, with the fives popping up in your reading, I th in, in Four of Pentacles, I think you holding a little bit too much back. It's not, it's just not taking any action at the moment. Maybe it's good sometimes, you know, it's, it's, it depends on your situation. Maybe you need to gather all information about everyone, um, you know, to see if, how my friend would say, tick all the boxes, you know. And then we have a son, we have Bill of Fortune. We have eight of swords. Wow. Okay. So let's talk about those. How beautiful to get those two cards in your reading. Because even in, in the sun card, we have like Wheel of Fortune here. 
So it's like double luck, double fortune. So you have coming very great energies, and you can achieve a lot. You can start a very lovely relationship. You can start lovely job, new projects, anything you might think of. If you want find yourself trapped too much in the thinking mode. Again, I don't see action. Maybe it's ho- just hoping it's gonna come up, but I don't want you to miss on this opportunity. Why you? Just hope you're gonna see this opportunity, guys. Energies, energies now is just for new beginnings. Sun is shining. Finally, luck's coming into you. Into you, you know. We have nine of pentacles, queen of wands, and five of wands. Wow! So finally, some kind of energies are coming through. Some kind of movement, but、uh, even though it's very, very slow again. But I think、um, with someone's help. If you can't make up your mind or something, maybe talk、um, with someone you trust. It could be fire sign. And <sighs> sorry, it's just so many scenarios coming to my head. Just trying to figure out which one is more like general. I、uh, can apply generally. I think what you need, you need to become the queen of wands. You need to, you know, because fire signs they take in action. They don't, they don't was just like they on action. They fire, and you just like all in your thoughts, guys. So you need to stand up for yourself. You need to fight for what you want. And for some of you, I feel it could be either earth sign. You interesting? Maybe you think this person is not mature enough, but is I think it's worth fighting for that person. Worth having faith in this person because energies are great, and I think you might be if you just scared to take this opportunity, you might lose this opportunity. It's not one saying it's it's not gonna be other opportunities coming your way, guys. But <sighs> your inaction is frustrating. I feeling frustrating when when I putting cards, looking at your cards. What I feel myself is frustration. It's just like someone gives you a hand to help you out. Said here, take it, come on, and you're just like. Don't know. Hmm. Maybe I can do it myself. Maybe if I walk that side, maybe I can find a bridge, or maybe if I could do this, or maybe that. So, person, someone's letter is there for you. Something new, job, new person, or someone you already know is there for you. Opportunity for something great to happen. Is there for you, but are you willing to fight for it? Are you willing to, you know, show that you want this? Why is that energy surrounding you guys? I know you. You don't look back. Don't look what. Don't think what's my something. Can go wrong. Yes, it's, you need to think a little bit, but don't overthink. You know, don't overanalyze what can go wrong. Think about how good it could turn out. Anything in any area of your life, because I don't feel strong like love reading or、uh, work reading. It's just I think it's really quite general reading for for you Virgos, and it's like. Up to you to take that chance. I think it's just spirits ask you not to be in the thinking mode too much and bring a little bit more fire into your life, 
or choose a fire sign or maybe you need to sh or earth sign depends but i think this queen of wands more like asking you to be that queen of wand you know and go for what you want because you have all the tools you have lovely energies you just like you're too deep into your thoughts you're too deep in your negativity get rid of it get rid of it okay the card from oracle card like we have contract so for some of you you definitely could talk like i said the contract getting a new job new some kind of signing contract buying something more expensive or anything it could be let's see what the book have to say about it okay it's indicating a commitment connecting of some sort this union might be a business deal the sale of a home a new job or even a commitment in marriage Whatever the connection, this card is more than a usual agreement. It's usually something that requires a document that's binding at least for the time being. The scales of justice also indicate that if a legal action is underway, it is likely to turn out in your favor. This card shines a light on potential new opportunities, so remain aware and respective, res, receptive to what may come in your way, guys. So... Maybe some of you weren't scared of the commitment. Maybe uh, you, someone's going to propose to you. Maybe someone will propose to live together. Maybe something and you're just scared and you don't want to take a chance on them. For some of us, I said, it could be a new job, buying something, some kind of bigger commitment coming your way. But what the spirit and universe asking you, you know, don't to spend too much time thinking because you might lose this opportunity, okay? We have Hangman, Page of Pentacles, and Page of Wands, okay? Look! <laughs> Same page on the bottom. Wow, so I think for some of you, um, Virgos, I do feel you might be spoiled with choices. And I spotted the choices in more like romantic way. Um, I do feel you have definitely a choice. But for others, you think you tired of waiting for the right one. So, yeah. <laughs> of pentacles so juggling you know few people few people want to date you few people getting in contact with you some of them one of them is want to ask for coffee another one for dinner want to take uh sends you flowers another one sends you a chocolate anything like that so you're just like okay what's next mm -hmm. where's my king what are gonna do with those pages I think the thing is with you, you not don't see which one is mature and a few things that, you know, something is still missing in them so you could actually commit and date, you know, or you're just waiting for someone to literally grow the balls and ask you out and, you know, uh, show what they actually want. For others, I do feel, you know, you might feel they need to look up for different kind of jobs, you know. Um, so you're sending CVs and it's not like you're sending in one particular area, like let's say accounting or something. No, you're sending to completely different thing, different places, you know, trying to apply. For others, they think it could be you like a... Um, finish at school and you need to make a choice where would you like to study and you just completely have no idea what to do which options to go with so you just like in this kind of limbo you know that people or someone expecting you to make a decision make some kind of some kind of movement and you just like 
Ah, uh, don't rush me, don't rush me, give me a time. We have five of swords, judgment, and six of pentacles. Okay, so do you feel that it's definitely you will make a choice with the judgment card here. You will voice your opinion to someone. What do you think about them? It could be for others. You will finally decide what to study. And do you feel some of you maybe couldn't decide what you want to go with uh, money? related study or some kind of creative a profession i think for some of you will decide to go a uh, bit money related profession um but it's just kind of in a battle in in you you know because you're not sure what to do you know uh, which way to go you know those cards coming nicely together here you know and explain in, each other you know that in a battle you're not showing what to do in either situation you're in it is it love related situation life related situation or something you just can't make a choice but with the judgment card here and six pentacles i think uh you making this decision you finally there just and it's just like i think by the if by the end of the week, by the end of the month, you making this decision to to commit to some one of your choices. It could be that if it's love related uh, reading, a feeling you ch gonna choose a partner, the one you will feel is closer, is more similar maybe to you. Uh, the same pers per person who's gonna have similar views to life, similar views to family and stuff. You will feel that uh, you're gonna choose a person. You will feel you can have equal relationship to be equal in relationship. You know. Okay. Let's pull more cards. And we have lovers, ten of swords, and seven of cups. Right. So lovers does talk about making choices <laughs> again, and the choice is big. You know, all your reading is about making choices. And I do feel, you know, um, it's a big struggle. Even some of you, if you don't have like two people to choose, two options to choose, I think it's more like in a battle with yourself, making sure that you're choosing the right option, that you're doing something right by yourself, you know? For those you feel, you might be dealing with Gemini um, energy. Even though I don't feel strong at Gemini presence, but I just want to mention for those who are interesting earth sign, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or maybe Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, maybe. But do you think a strong, a strong air energy here, definitely. So with the Ten of Swords, it's going to be over. As I said, you know, uh, cards explain each other very nicely, you know, topping up to each other, you know, you're going to make a judgment. And because judgment fell off the, on the um, page of Pentacles, I do think if you, between two people, you're going to choose, as I said, person who you feel closest to yourself because Pentacles is your energy. So you will something close to your heart more, you know, you're not going to choose someone just by related by the looks or you're not going to choose the person who's very responsible or don't know, this kind of thing. You're going to choose person on your own level. You know, even though Ten of Swords cards looks bad. You know, but it's because you wasn't sure what's coming your way, what this person is about, you know. Uh, look, 
<laughs> Ten of Pentacles coming, guys. So it's just Libras. It's all about more about your inner battle. You know, making this decision, and you want to. You don't want to make mistakes. You want if you're gonna make a choice to have something certain, something something long term decision, and <clears throat> work wise, profession wise. Or any other life aspect, making choice. This is it's just like yeah. You this time you want to make sure it's right. But what I do like, you know, this judgment card in the middle. It's gonna. Is you will know seven of cups, not knowing what to choose. Not knowing what to expect, not knowing what's coming. <coughs> I'm sorry. But, you know, I do feeling you will be okay with that, not knowing what's coming. Because you will trust your choice. Because you'll know that you're going to, you right, doing right by, by yourself, by yourself. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> you know, doing whatever it's it makes you happy. Okay. Angel of Strength. So yeah. Lovely card guys. For others, you know, it could be this people around you uh might do you as this person sometimes maybe a little bit um too harsh or maybe person who's better not to approach the wrong way for others they see you as a very strong woman or man who's went through a lot and they know that it's better not to play with you so let's see what the book have to say. And it says, This amazing angel brings the news that this is a time for increasing power for you. It's not a time to be passive or submissive, but to speak your truth. And a lovely judgment card. Making choices. And take an action on your own behalf. See? Make sure you're happy with your own decisions. You are capable of taking greater control and directing your own destiny. For the power that comes from within reaches out to the universe and beyond. Inner strength and unlimited resourcefulness flow through you at this time, helping you to create real results. Call upon this wonderful angel and on your own inner resourcefulness to bring you the focus and resolve to do what is necessary in order to make your dreams a reality. So all about the choices you make. And I know you want to take time to think which one is right, which one is not. But go with your, you know, what you feel is right. Listen to your gut feeling. Let universe and spirit guide you. Trust your intuition. You are a strong woman, you know. You should know by now that you can trust your judgment. 